Southwest Light Rail Transit will operate from Eden Prairie through Minnetonka, Hopkins, St. Louis Park, and past near Edina on its way to Minneapolis. The line includes 17 new stations and will connect businesses along the 15-mile route. From Minneapolis, riders can continue east all the way to downtown St. Paul without changing trains. The Southwest LRT corridor employs 210,000 people with 60,000 new jobs forecasted by 2030. This video shows the preliminary Southwest LRT alignment. Changes are expected as a result of engineering and additional engagement with the public, businesses, and local government. Under the preliminary alignment, the line's western end is Mitchell Station in Eden Prairie, with plans for a major park and ride. Heading east, the route crosses Mitchell Road at grade and parallels the south side of Highway 212. It crosses two bus-only access ramps and enters the next station. Southwest Station is a major park and ride for express bus service. The facility would be expanded and enhanced to accommodate LRT. From here, the line crosses under Prairie Center Drive in a new tunnel and parallels Technology Drive. Under preliminary plans, Eden Prairie Town Center Station is about a mile northwest of the Eden Prairie Center Mall. Leaving the station, the line will cross to the north side of Technology Drive and pass over I-494, Flying Cloud Drive, and Viking Drive on a new bridge. From the east side of Flying Cloud Drive, the preliminary alignment proceeds north across Prairie Center Drive at grade before running parallel to Highway 212. Entering the Golden Triangle, the workplace of some 20,000 people, the line crosses Flying Cloud Drive again at Nine Mile Creek. The alignment now enters one of the largest employment centers in the metro area. Golden Triangle Station by SuperValue Corporate Headquarters will serve the greater Golden Triangle area. This station area has strong potential for additional job growth and housing opportunities through redevelopment. From here, the line would proceed north, cross under Flying Cloud Drive and Shady Oak Road in a new tunnel, then run parallel to Highway 212 and ultimately cross over 212 on a new bridge, south of Highway 62, on the approach to the next station. City West Station is where United Health Group is building a new office campus for 6,600 employees. The development includes more than a million square feet of office space. From here, the line would leave Eden Prairie, enter Minnetonka on a new bridge across Highway 62, and proceed north along Yellow Circle Drive and Bren Road East. Opus Station is planned to support large offices and housing in Minnetonka. North of Opus Station, the line would cross Bren Road West at grade and curve west. All the buildings within Opus have connections to nearly six miles of paved trails. From here, the alignment curves north and crosses Smetana Road at grade. Traveling due north, the line would pass over wetlands and active Canadian Pacific freight tracks on a 3,000-foot-long bridge. It would cross Ktel Drive at grade and turn northeast onto railroad right-of-way owned by Hennepin County and enter Hopkins. Plans for Shady Oak Station include a large park and ride facility, major redevelopment with new roads, and keeping the bike trail to downtown Minneapolis. From the station, the line begins to head northeast along dedicated right-of-way owned by the Hennepin County Regional Railroad Authority. Leaving Shady Oak, the line crosses 11th Avenue at grade. Hopkins Station will serve the Main Street District in downtown Hopkins. Plans call for a pedestrian-friendly connection between Main Street and Hopkins Station. Heading east, the line crosses 5th Avenue at grade and travels under Highway 169. This is where the line begins running parallel to the active Canadian Pacific Bass Lake Spur before traveling over Excelsior Boulevard on a new bridge. The new Cargill corporate campus here, together with a SuperValue distribution center, employ about 5,000 people. 
Blake Station is envisioned as a center for jobs and housing. The Blake School is about a half mile south with enhanced connections proposed to Minnehaha Creek and existing parks and trails. Heading east, the line crosses Blake Road at grade. Here, near the cold storage site, there are plans to restore Creek shoreline and create redevelopment opportunities. From here, the line crosses over Minnehaha Creek and Louisiana Avenue. Louisiana Station is uniquely located to serve Methodist Hospital a quarter of a mile south. There is redevelopment potential for new offices and housing, and light industries are likely to remain along the existing freight railroad tracks to provide a buffer, as well as jobs and services. The LRT line crosses under the Canadian Pacific MNNS spur and transitions to the south side of the corridor from county-owned right-of-way to Canadian Pacific right-of-way before crossing Wooddale Avenue at grade to reach the next station. Wooddale Station is located by new and expanding residential developments, including Hoygaard Village along West 36th Street. From the station, the line crosses over Highway 100 and travels at grade, across Beltline Boulevard. Beltline Station is a center for jobs with Beltline Boulevard as the primary north-south connection. Excelsior and Grand is a mixed-use, transit-oriented and pedestrian-friendly development less than one mile south of the station, which is also near recreational opportunities at Bass Lake Preserve. East of the station, the line curves north, leaving St. Louis Park. West Lake Station in Minneapolis will offer connections to frequent bus service, the Midtown Greenway Trail, and nearby shopping. There's also potential here for a station for the Midtown Corridor Transit Way, which is being studied. This would enhance connections to major employers, commercial activity, and other transit services including bus rapid transit on I-35 and Hiawatha LRT. Heading east, the line crosses under West Lake Street. The line continues over Cedar Lake Parkway on a new bridge. It proceeds over Lake of the Isles and travels under Burnham Road. 21st Street Station is next to Cedar Lake in a neighborhood of single-family homes. Heading east, the line crosses West 21st Street at grade. Two regional trails come together as the line approaches the next station, creating opportunities for bikers and walkers to climb aboard. Penn Station is between Bryn Mawr and Kenwood neighborhoods. At Penn Station, the LRT line meets and begins to parallel the BNSF Wyzetta subdivision freight line. Heading east, the line crosses under I-394. Here, the Bassett Creek Valley Master Plan envisions the Linden Yards redevelopment with a mix of uses, office space, and an average of 225 jobs per acre. Van White Station will be located beneath the Van White Memorial Boulevard Bridge being built by the City of Minneapolis. Heading east, the line crosses over the BNSF Wyzetta subdivision on a new bridge and then under I-94 and Glenwood Avenue before leaving the corridor which is owned by the Hennepin County Railroad Authority and crossing Holden Street at grade. Royalston Station will serve the Minneapolis Farmers Market and adjoining area. Leaving Royalston, the line crosses under 7th Street in a new tunnel and turns east to parallel 6th Avenue North. Hennepin County will soon build a new multimodal transportation facility, the Interchange, where light rail and commuter trains, buses, automobiles, bicyclists and pedestrians converge. The facility will include storage track for light rail vehicles, a new light rail platform and new pedestrian plazas. From here people can transfer to the North Star commuter rail line to go north, or major bus routes and in the future other transitway and rail lines. At all downtown Minneapolis stations, riders have the option of transferring to the Hiawatha LRT Blue Line to go to the airport and Mall of America, or to local bus routes such as those along Nicollet Mall. The Southwest LRT Green Line will continue so that passengers can stay on the train through downtown Minneapolis, the University of Minnesota, University Avenue, the State Capitol, downtown St. Paul, and all the way to Union Depot. Through 2013, the stations and alignment will be designed in greater detail. The Southwest LRT project will be the third LRT line in the Twin Cities, providing improved access to expanding job centers and slowing growth in congestion. Project funders include the Federal Transit Administration, County's Transit Improvement Board, State of Minnesota, and Hennepin County Regional Railroad Authority. For more information, visit www.swlrt.org.